Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss about the congruent angles and vertical angles. So what is vertical angles? Vertical angles are two non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. So for example, we have these lines that intersect at point A. And I'm going to name each angle as angle 1, 2, 3, and 4. So in this figure, angle 1 and angle 3, angle 2 and angle 4 are an example of vertical angle. Another example, I have again two lines here. And their point of intersection is A. And I'm going to name this point as H. This one is E. This one is R. And this one is T. In this figure, angle HAE and angle TAR is a vertical angle. And angle HAT and angle EAR is also a vertical angle. So remember, when we say vertical angles, it is a two non-adjacent angle. So, uh, pag sinabi natin non-adjacent, hindi sila, wala silang common sides. Okay? Wala silang common sides. Okay? Remember that, ha? And always remember that a vertical angles are congruent. Okay? So, the measure of the vertical angles are congruent. So, when we say congruent angles are two or more angles with the same measure. So, remember that, ha? Huh? Now, let's try this. For example, we have angle HAE and angle TAR are vertical angles. If the measure of angle HAE is equal to 3x plus 20 and the measure of angle TAR is equal to 5x minus 10, Find the measure of angle HAE and angle ATAR. So first, let's make this representation of the given. So we are going to find the value of angle HAE and angle TAR. So remember that vertical angles are congruent. So therefore, the measure of angle HAE is equal to the measure of angle TAR. Now, so since angle HAE is equal to 3x plus 20 and the measure of angle TAR is equal to 5x minus 10, we are going to use that to find the value of x. So 3x plus 20 is equal to 5x minus 10. Now simplify 3x plus negative 5x is equal to negative 2x and negative 10 minus 20 is equal to negative 30. Now, up, divide both sides by negative 2 to isolate x. So, therefore, the final answer is x is equal to 15. Now, since we already find the value of x, let us substitute it to the given measures. So, now first, we are going to find the measure of angle HAE. So, the uh, measure of angle HAE is equal to 3x plus 20. So, substitute the value of x which is 15. So, 3 times 15 is equal to 45 plus 20 is equal to 65. So, the measure of angle HAE is equal to 65. Now, let's get the measure of angle TAR. So, TAR is equal to 5x minus 10. So, substitute the value of x which is 15 to the given measure. So, 5 times 15 is equal to 75 minus 10 is equal to 65. As you can see, the measure of angle HAE and the measure of angle TAR are the same because the vertical angles are congruent. Now, let's have another example. So, for example, we have this figure. We are going to find the measure of the given angle if the measure of angle 1 and angle 5 are supplementary. So again, if the measure of angle 1 is equal to 2x plus 10 and the measure of angle 5 is equal to 5x plus 30, we are going to find the measure of the, v of the given angles. So since 
in this given, it says that angle 1 and angle 5 are supplementary. So, ibig sabihin, if we are going to add angle 1 and angle 5, the measure is 180. So, first, we are going to find the value of x. So, it will become 2x plus 10 plus 5x plus 30 is equal to 180. Now, simplify, we are going to add the similar terms. So, 2x plus 5x is equal to 7x. 10 plus 30 is equal to 40. So, apply addition property of equality in this part. So, it will become 7x plus 40 minus 40 is equal to 180 minus 40. So, simplify, it will become 7x is equal to 140. Then, apply multiplication property. We are going to divide both sides by 7. So, 7x is equal to 140, divide both sides by 7. So, it will become x is equal to 20. So, now, if the value of x is equal to 20, we are going to substitute first the value of x to the measure of angle 1 and angle 5. So, first, we are going to find the measure of angle 1. So, the measure of angle 1 is equal to 2x plus 10. Substitute the value of x, which is 20. So, 2 times 20 plus 10 is equal to 50. So, therefore, the measure of angle 1 is 50. Now, let's find the measure of angle 5. So, angle 5 is equal to 5x plus 30. Substitute the value of x, which is 20. So, 5 times 20 plus 30 is equal to 130. Now, we already get the value of angle 1 and angle 5. So, angle 1 is equal to 50 and angle 5 is equal to 130. Now, we are going to find the measure of the other angle. So, since uh, angle 1 and angle 4 are vertical angles and we all know that the vertical angles are congruent, so you measure nila I equal, so therefore, the measure of angle 4 is also 50. Now, we are going to find the measure of angle 2. Angle 2 and angle 4 are supplementary. Okay, so since they are supplementary, therefore, the measure of angle 2 is 130. Kasi ang supplementary, the measure is 180. So, 50 plus 130 is equal to 180. Now, let's find the measure of angle 3. Without computing, by just looking at the figure, we can find out the measure of all the given angles. So, since angle 2 and angle 3 are vertical angles, so therefore, they are congruent or equal lang sila. So, therefore, the measure of angle 3 are 130 degrees. Now, let's proceed to these angles. So, we are going to find the measure of angle 8. Now, since angle 5 and angle 8 are also congruent or they because they are vertical angle, so... Therefore, the measure of angle 8 is 130. And angle 6 and angle 8 are supplementary. Therefore, the measure of angle 6 is 50. And 6 and 7 are vertical angle. Therefore, the measure of angle 7 is also 50. Now, we are going to find the measure of angle 9. Remember that the measure of this triangle is 180. So, we have 50 here and 50 here. So, therefore, there are 100 na. So, therefore, the measure of angle 9 is 80 degrees. And since angle 9 and angle 12 is vertical angles, therefore, the measure of angle 12 is also 80 degrees. And angle 10 and angle 12 are supplementary angles. Therefore, the measure of angle 10 is 100 degrees. Measure of angle 11 is 100 degrees. Because 10 or angle 10 and angle 11 are vertical angles. Now, it's your turn. Answer the given problem. If you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, Try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, perpendicular lines. Thank you for watching. Happy learning everyone.